is how I pin my butterflies. So what you're going to be needing is, of course, your rehydrated butterfly or moth. Make sure it's been rehydrated in the fridge for about 24 hours. Then you're going to need your styrofoam with split in it. You can use different boards. I got this from a shipping package and I just cut a slit in the middle for it. Then you're going to want some little pins. It doesn't need to be anything special. Um, parchment paper. This came in the kit, but you can just use like the roll you can get at the store. Okay, to start off, you're going to want to take your butterfly out of the container. Just a warning, it does not smell very pleasant. It smells pretty gross. No, it does not smell good at all. So, now that you have your butterfly or your moth, you can start taking it out of the parchment paper. Just remember to be very, very careful. Uh, butterflies and moths can get ripped and torn very easily. Okay, so you're going to want to take tweezers. You can pick it up with your bare hands as well. And then I'm just going to get a few pins to pierce the body. So. Sometimes you gotta kind of maneuver your butterfly around a little bit. I think this guy needed a little longer to be rehydrated, but I think it'll work out okay. Now, when you're pinning butterflies for the first time, it might be make you a little squeamish touching it and puncturing it with a pin. But you're just going to take the pin insert it between the wings and kind of push the pin through its abdomen. Be very careful so you don't puncture yourself. Once that is done, you can put him on the board. So I'm just going to push the pin through him a little more. It's a very beautiful butterfly. I love it. Okay. Then you can take him and just place him in the slit. Sometimes you might need to make it a little bigger. I'm just kind of prying it open with my tweezers so his body can fit in there comfortably. some, you know, black coloring from the wings on my fingers. Okay, so now that he is placed on the board, you can start cutting your parchment paper to fit. Some people do little strips, some people do big um, like squares. I like doing squares, I just think it's a lot easier. It covers the whole wing. So these Scissors came in the kit. They're very um, hard to use though. I didn't grab another pair. So there's one. And then. Here's the other. They do not need to be the same size. Um, I take a few pins out of the container and stick them up in the corner so I don't have to keep getting them out of the container constantly. Okay, so now that I got pins out, I'm gonna start prying the wings open. Believe it or not, butterflies have four wings. They have one big wing at the top and then one at the bottom on each side, which you'll be able to see. But just insert the parchment paper between the wings very carefully if you need to use tweezers or a needle. Usually I use the needle just because it's a lot skinnier. It risks, you know, damage. And just slide it through very carefully. You can use your hands as well, you just need to be very careful. And then you're going to want to gently, if you can, bring the wing down. And then, oh, it's on this side. 
probably stick a few pins to keep it flat. The antenna was kind of in, the antennas, I should say, were kind of in the way. So I have them kind of angled down with a needle. The antennas are probably the hardest thing to manipulate on a butterfly. I even struggle with them, so sometimes I just kind of leave them how they are. Um, they do usually fall off too. So they fall off, I kind of just leave them off because they're very hard <laughs> to manipulate. So now what you want to do is you're going to, I always release just one of the pins. I take one of the pins out, I leave the other one in. I like using two. Then you're going to take your tweezers. I like using these like flat tweezers because they're very gentle. But you want to be very gentle and grabbing the wing and kind of bringing it up. Sometimes you might bring it up too high, sometimes not high enough. Just kind of trial and error. It takes some time learning how to do it. I even still struggle with it. Then you can bring the bottom wing down a little bit or up if you need to. I bringing it down. Yeah. Now wings, antennas, and legs all fall off very easily. Don't stress about it too much. Um, they fall off, they rip, whatever. Like wings rip very easily. And try pulling them up a little bit. Sorry, my hands or face might be in the way. Okay. You got it. You just kind of got to manipulate it until you think it looks good. So whatever you think looks good will pretty much work. Um, now you just do the same on the other side. That kind of all popped up. You want to try and match it with the other side as best as you can. So... That's pretty good. You do not want the pins to puncture the wings, just the parchment paper and the board. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. Sorry, that noise is really lovely. close enough. Then now I'm going to fix the bottom wing. Hmm. I cannot get these wings to work, so I'm going to go off camera and try and fix it a little bit. Okay. So this was my pin. It's not the prettiest, that's for sure. Um, I use a lot of pins. You don't really need a whole lot, but I just like using a lot to make sure the butterfly is laying pretty flat. Um, I did kind of get the antennas to manipulate. It's kind of hard to see with all the pins, but they're kind of sideways, which is okay. Uh, the wings were very fragile, so they ripped a little bit, but it's okay because I have a fix for that. I'll show you next video when we unpin it. Um, this one did not want to lay that nicely either. You can't see it on here because of how dark it is, but right along the body, the wings kind of folded up and I tried flattening them out, but the wings kept ripping and I didn't want to risk it anymore. So I just used some pins to kind of lay it flat. Um, the body, as you can see, is, oh can't really see it, but it's right in this groove here because the wings kind of set a little higher than the body. They're not level right in the middle. So, so yeah. that was just a quick video on how you pin butterflies. Now you want to keep it on the board like this for about a week. Sometimes the drying time varies. Sometimes it's less than a week, sometimes it's more, it just depends. Um, I like leaving it for a week just to make sure it is fully dry before framing it so I don't risk damaging it at all. Uh, you could just honestly leave it 
on a shelf or a desk, just out of reach to where it's not going to get um, damaged at all. And then next video, I will show you how we unpin it and all the fixes you can do if the antenna or legs, wings, and possibly even the body fall off. So I do need to make some wing fixes, so you can see. So I'll show you guys that in the next video That's that should be coming out in like a week or two, you know, after this is dry. So I'll see you guys then, and thank you for watching.